on. We had uh, moderator was uh, Dr. Brandy Nunnicky, and our panelists were Jane Coffin, um, for, who's from the Internet Society, but focusing on the projects she's doing with community networks and mesh networks. Chris Resendiz, who's the founder of IoT Impact Labs. Maya Wiley, who is Senior VP for Social Justice at the New School and had been the, one of the creators of the New York City Broadband Plan, and Dr. Vanu Bose, who is the President and CEO of Vanu Incorporated. And uh, we mostly focused on, uh, on both the rural and the urban uh, environments and looking at sort of um, what is the problem with access and how do people getting it. Um, because as you, we looked at it through a f several different focus questions, so some of the questions are like, in 2015, what would inclusive internet look like? Or what are good internet fragmentation issues? Or looking at what are, how can we resolve these internet problems? And Vanu talked about that the problems um, in, rural, in rural, both in rural America and in Africa are not um, problems of infrastructure or tech, uh, technical issues, but are basically economic. And how do we get the price points down? How do we um, create a better device, a better um, network system that uses that that doesn't need to be hooked up to a grid or that can use solar power? Um, how do we work with the community to get sustainability? Because um, sustainability is key. How do we get community involvement in it? Um, looking at some issues of, uh, of, of, of how do, how do we, uh, why do we want to get people connected? What is it, looking, asking the community's questions, is what's so important about connectivity? Um, what really do you want the internet to do? And some of, some of these questions, seeing them about really, what are the consumers looking for? And, making sure that we can do something that works with consumers and it may not be a broadband network. Maybe the consumers just want something smaller network. What do they really need? And looking at that and then also looking at what spectrum solutions are out there and maybe we can do some experimental or secondary spectrum to look at and how to fulfill in these chains where these, where these gaps are because if if they're not being served and the government's not being served, there's something maybe you could do. So it's, it's an issue of how to get the economics down. And we can get economics down by very different means, but how do we do that? Because once we can get the economics down, and then we can figure out what the community wants and involve the community in making sure to that this is what they want and have them involved in creating the structure, we can get something that'll be a lot more sustainable that communities can, can support and communities can continue. And that's really the focus of trying to get this missing step because it's not just a connectivity alone, it's, it's a community-driven thing and how, do, how does the community take ownership? 